So there's actually been more details revealed alongside the reveal gameplay we got from Marvel Spider-Man 2. This is in form of a PlayStation blog. I ended up missing it in my original breakdown video. So yeah, in this video, we're gonna go over that PlayStation blog. Before we get into today's video, do you enjoy watching Spider-Man content on YouTube? If so, you found the perfect channel to join. For an affordable price of only $2 a month, you can get exclusive access to priority reply to comments, these cool custom badges I made myself, as well as some Spider-Man emojis. But wait, there's more. And lastly, you can get early access to content. If any of that sounds interesting, what are you waiting for? Join today. Thank you for your time. Back to your regularly scheduled content. So the first thing I noticed that was confirmed is actually the beginning where Peter burst out of a house. Some people thought maybe this was Peter's house since as you may or may not know in the prequel comic it was established that Pete actually now owns Aunt May's house since she passed and is trying to pay for it or whatever. But it's actually confirmed in this blog that it's Dr. Connor's house which I figured it probably was Dr. Connor's house because I figured like that made the most sense, especially story-wise with like Craven the Hunter hunting Lizard. But moving on to the next confirmation we have, this is regarding the upgrading system. And it says each Spider-Man has their own unique set of skills that can be upgraded via individual skill trees. But that's not all. They also included a shared skill tree that offers parallel upgrades for both of them. So the individual skill tree will be respectively like for Miles' Venom powers and Pete's symbiote abilities. But the shared skill tree is interesting. That's likely going to be for stuff like Spider-Man takes less melee damage. Spider-Man takes less damage from bullets. Things like that. Things along those lines uh, that are more general and like not specifically tied to their respective abilities or powers. So I find that super interesting. That's cool. Can't wait to try that out. Another thing that's mentioned is that Kraven is well equipped with boats, aerial transports, and weapons that are all as a lizard. That is in regard to like the gameplay reveal that we got, but I do wonder like, are the crimes gonna be anything similar? So like, I wonder if maybe like when we're traveling between Manhattan and like Bro Brooklyn slash Queens, like basically like on the bridge between the cities, that if we could maybe trigger boat crimes or something, I think that would be sort of cool. I think, or maybe some of those aerial transports. We had something similar in Miles Morales' game. I forgot specifically what it was, but we had to take down like some flying ships or something from Roxxon, I think. So maybe we can get some similar stuff to that, but like different and more like improved upon. They also touch upon switching between Miles and Pete and say that there's a variety of story moments where we switch between them. This is because they want players to bask in iconic team ups to make those action set pieces more memorable, uh, just better in general, but as well so we can experience the story from both Spider-Man's point of view, which I think is totally fine. I, j I just do hope though that like it's more Peter's story than Miles' story. Like, I still want Miles to have, like, his own arc and story, but I hope, like, you know, it's maybe, like, 70 Peter, 30 Miles, or maybe 60 Peter, 40 Miles, something like that. So what do you think of some of these extra details we didn't receive directly in the gameplay reveal? Make sure you comment your opinion down below so I can discuss all that with you in the comment section. Thank you for taking time out of your day to click on this video. If you are new to the channel, I cover Spider-Man related scoops, rumors, leaks, confirmations for the games, movies, TV shows, and I try to upload as much as I can. So if any of that interests you, hit the subscribe button. We're on the road to 2,000 subscribers. If you want more of this content, leave a like on the video. Don't forget to check out my latest video on the left if you haven't already. I hope you all had a good day and that you enjoyed the video. Until next time.